Hello everyone, whether you be a friend, a foe, or just a random internet traveller, I am Infancy64, and today we are going to be looking at even more cursed trains from history. This is part three. Why the hell are there so many? But there shouldn't be. But there is. What purpose do these things serve? Okay, like, let's just not focus on all bad. This thing looks pretty damn cool. Unless you're a devout Christian, this would probably scare the shit out of you. What? Alright, this is probably just like an ad or something. But on the chances that this could have been an actual attempt to create a train, lay off the crack. Okay, this locomotive is actually pretty beautiful. But the reason I think it's cursed? The cab's too bloody big and too open. What? Got curtains! Where the coal pump? Why? Into domes on where the dome should be. This makes no sense. See, this is what happens if you let Kim Kardashian design a train. It ends up getting Botox as well. Congratulations, you have now been pulled by the amazing Cecil and his associate, Brick. For those of you who don't know that reference, that's Penguins of Madagascar and Cecil and Brick are hilarious. What? Uh, it's an articulated tank engine. It's definitely not something you see every day. It's not something I want to see every day, but still, it's there. Okay, this thing was bad, and not just because it looked really weird. This was bad for a very reason, and its designer actually noted this. The designer said, that it couldn't go off the like, period, because all of these wheels carried too much of the weight. And not enough was put on the driving wheel, so on heels it would just wheel slip and slide back down. Bloody useless. Uh, what? What is this? This looks like that artillery cannon thing from the last episode. Now the one that was built to kill the Pleasure Island train thing? No! You know how you see those people in a park and you just think, yeah, they, they have to go on a diet, you know, no choice about that? That's the vibe I'm picking up from this train. Yeah. Okay, this thing is an attempt at a diesel pneumatic locomotive. And basically what those were, they were a diesel engine powering... Ah, uh, an uh, air compressor, and then compressed air then used um, steam locomotive valve gear to move the wheels. Now, compressed air locomotives have been successful, but in um, compressing their own air, well, that provided a few, let's just say, problems that they had to overcome. Alco, I thought you were sane people. Why would you create create this. You put a tractor engine in backwards, stuck a headlight on it, and yeah, boom. Ah, locomotive. Jesus, I thought you people were sane. So you know that character Spencer from the Thomas and Friends TV show? Yeah, well, he caused a bit too much confusion and delay, so he tore off his face and turned him into this. I would have done worse. So, just so you know. You might be in purgatory now, but he wouldn't even be breathing. If I had gotten a hold of him. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching and a special thanks to Microsoft Bing for all of these cursed train images. I don't think it's a good thing it's got so many, but yeah, well. As always, this was Infinity64, and I will see you next time up, I should cross.